It's as if the plane never left the sky. Do I have to say out loud that that's impossible? I think we've taken impossible off. Manifest, NBC's supernatural drama has taken everyone by storm. With four seasons released, this show has gotten everyone, including us, glued to our seats. Since it has numerous characters fighting their own battles, some are inevitably fans' favorites, while there are some we just want to die. Hello everyone, today we're talking about Manifest's most loved and hated characters. Ranked, warning, this video contains spoilers, lots of them. So if you still haven't caught up with all the seasons, now's your chance to stop watching and get to watching the show. Before we get into this video, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss out on any of the new videos that we post. Now, let's jump into it. Before we get into the list, let's talk about Manifest a bit. So for those who don't know, Manifest is a show that follows the tale of Montego Air Flight 828. Many theorize we included that the disappearance of Malaysian Flight 370 inspired it, but they never confirmed it. So in the show, 191 passengers who are on the plane are presumed dead. However, something strange happens as after five and a half years, all the passengers return turn. Yikes, sounds scary, right? Trust us when we say this, give the show a chance if you haven't seen it yet. Once you start an episode, you'll not be done until you complete it all the seasons. Now let's look at some of our most beloved characters. And how can we start this list without our favorite, Michaela Stone? Call us biased or not, no one can deny that Michaela is one of the best characters on the show. She has tons of layers, which is always a plus. However, our poor Michaela has so much to deal with when she comes back after disappearing for more than five years. Starting from the fact that her mother had passed away, and not to mention her fiance has moved on and married none other than her best friend and to top it all she has to deal with strange visions and return to her detective work talk about having the worst luck am i right juggling family life work guilt relationships and vision michaela makes it all look easy but that is the kind of person she is a fighter still guessing why she's our favorite second on our list is Greystone. she is a literal queen who deserves an award for being a loving mother and wife she has been through so much for her family so much well for starters she struggles with coming to terms with the loss of her son and her husband, and the cherry on top is, she had to explain it all to her little younger daughter, Olive. And when finally things start getting better, the passengers come back. So not only does she have to grasp the situation, but she also has to explain it to Olive, who's a teenager now. But this isn't even the worst part. Grace had to call it off with her loving boyfriend, Daddy, who become a huge part of her and Olive's life. However, she does it all to stay honest and true to her wedding vows that she said to bed. Honestly, the saying not all heroes wear capes is made for characters like Grace. Next on our list is Savvy Ball. She's another one of the Flight 828 passengers who deserves to be on this list more than anyone. She's this brilliant medical researcher who is developing a cure for leukemia before her disappearance. Once she comes back after five years, Sammy finds out how her work was further developed to the point that it has helped thousands and thousands. This boss lady ends up teaming up with Michaela, Ben, and others to solve the mystery of what really happened to their plane. Not only this, but she's also trying to uncover the meaning behind all these callings and visions that the past are facing after their return. Sanvi is one of Manifest's fascinating characters. Her workaholic attitude and determination are so refreshing to watch in a pool of chaos. You might be wondering, are all female characters the best on the show? Well, finally, a male character has made it to the list. It's none other than TJ Morrison. Honestly, how can someone not love this angel? He's such a kind-hearted soul who has been through so much after returning. Well, his mother commits suicide and left TJ with literally nothing. Despite it all, our boy creates a special bond with Ben and ends up having the cutest relationship with Olivia, who used to have a little crush on TJ five years ago. However, happiness doesn't last in the show, and TJ is accused of murder and later presumed dead. We cried so much during that episode. Thankfully, that was just a misunderstanding. Whew. The last person on our likable list is none other than Sweet Olive Stone. While she is your every brooding teenage girl, there is just something about her that you cannot hate. Perhaps the reason is she's been through so much. Or maybe that she's highly relatable as we've all been through such a phase while growing up, right? We don't know what it is, but you can comment down your thoughts below about Olive Stone. Now let's get into the thick of it. This part of the video I'm sure you'll like. The list of characters we hate. Starting this list is none other than Ben Stone. No, we don't hate him because we ship Grace and Danny even though we did ship the two. It's just Ben is literally one of the worst. It's like he has a trap personality, but there's just something about him that we just can't stand. Basically, Ben was a mathematician professor before his disappearance, and apparently that makes him a genius, as he claims himself, who believes he can single-handedly solve the entire mystery. Like, come on, how can he be that smart and just be a professor? Think about it, why does it always have to be him who figures it out? Can it be anyone else? Please, for the love of God, anyone. Next on our list is another stone man, Cal Stone. We swear we don't have anything against kids or stone 
man, but this kid is so annoying. Like, like seriously, can you be a little, like a, a little tad bit more helpful? Cal seems to be in the center of all that has happened. He was the first one to declare that it's all connected, but literally this boy has done nothing to help. Instead, he spends time drawing pictures. He's very sus too. If you ask us, before the flight disappeared, Cal was extremely sick and didn't have much time to live, but after returning, he has somehow gone through a speedily yet suspicious recovery. And it's so apparent that he knows something, but he just doesn't spill it. Now, if that isn't annoying to you, we don't know what is. The third person on our hate list is none other than Adrian. Oh, Adrian, who started out as an average guy who was just trying to adjust back into his life, but clearly that wasn't enough for him as he got so influenced by his visions that he ended up forming a cult. Yep, yep, literally a cult. He had a calling that he was supposed to begin a religion, and people started treating him like a god as he tried to convince many that the passengers of 828 were divine. Adrian called it the Church of Return. Even though this isn't exactly his fault that he got so influenced by his callings and visions, we just cannot seem to forgive him for it. The fourth person on our list is Jared Vasquez. There's just something about most men on the show that makes us not like them. Before the disappearance of Flight 828, Jared is Michaela Stone's partner in her work and love life. He ended up proposing to her literally before her trip. However, Michaela, who's unsure of what to do, ends up leaving him without any answer for more than five years. While he grieved and tried to move on from his maybe fiance's disappearance, she returns after five years, putting Jared in a sticky and awkward situation. Why, you wonder? Haha. <laughs> well, because he literally married her best friend. Talk about breaking some serious cis code. However, this isn't all. Yup, wait, there's more. As he also has this 180 switch in his personality from being a needy, loving puppy to being a member of a hate group. This does end up being an act in order to help help Michaela and the rest, but we don't know why he does change for everyone since that episode. It's left a sour taste in our mouth and I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. So the last person on our hate list is a controversial character, which is none other than Zeke Landon. The reason for him being controversial is that many find him likable while many just can't stand him. Zeke was a hiker who was rescued one year after disappearing from a cave during a snowstorm. Strangely, just like the passengers on Flight 828, Zeke also gets the same vision and calling. So you might be wondering why is he not likable? Well, it's difficult to point out, probably just the fact that he is more trouble than good for Michaela. Zeke is literally a recovering addict who's struggling with the guilt of his sister's death. There's just so much on Michaela's plate already and it sounds like just more baggage for our favorite person to have. There you have it, all of our manifest, loved, and hated characters ranked. Now we want to know what you think. Do you agree with us, or is your list complete opposite of ours? Also, if you liked the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. We'll see you soon with our new and exciting content. Take care.